Hello and welcome to my channel Attila Taro. In this video uh, I brought you a message uh, which probably you need to hear and uh, the message that uh, you're gonna um, listen to really depends on you which uh, part you're gonna choose you're gonna be able to have a chance to uh, choose between three uh, piles and uh, all you need to do is decide which pile that is uh, kind of uh, getting your attention. In each pile you're gonna have three tarot cards, an angel oracle card, uh, a rose oracle card and a spirit animal oracle uh, card as well. Uh, and and uh, you know you just need to take your time and decide which one is uh, the one that's calling you. We have pile number one uh, which is uh, the uh, gilded tarot uh, then we also have uh, this uh, the second pile which is this blue the classic rider wade and we also have here uh, for you uh, pile number three uh, which is uh, your light seer tarot uh, deck so all you need to choose is choose the one that's calling you if you are not able to choose uh, you can definitely listen to more of the messages and at, and at the bottom uh, in the description you're gonna be able to jump to the one uh, that has been uh, kind of uh, ca uh, catching your attention so if you need some more time I would recommend you to pause the video and uh, continue when you are ready okay so first we're gonna start with pile number one and uh, we're gonna start with your rose oracle card the card you have here is the rose without thorn you have the right uh, to your joy peace sweetness of life this is such a beautiful card uh, because imagine that the rose is one of the most beautiful flowers and the only thing that keeps it away from you is the thorns that's kind of protecting but this is a rose that has no thorns you can enjoy it you can smell it uh, you can uh, pretty much just enjoy it and and you know this is kind of like a telling you that uh, a great time is ahead of you where you can enjoy your life you can have peace and you can just focus on the sweetness of life what a beautiful energy uh, the angel oracle card for you the card that's came out is the yes a big big yes so this is the card that's telling me that there's something that you've been contemplating there's something that you've been wondering it might, might be relationship it might be career related and the universe is telling you yes go for it whatever you want you should pursue it and uh, you also have the dragonfly spirit uh, 22 uh, which is truth transcends illusions so this is the card that's telling us that you know you need to pay attention to what is the truth behind things be wise use your wisdom and and make sure that you are not just uh, trying to catch something uh, that is nice and shiny use your wisdom uh, and, and and you know uh, follow your path follow your wisdom uh, to your true calling it definitely has the, the uh, yes from the universe for it the green light and the greed card but let's see what is the tarot telling us your first card we have here is the hermit the hermit which is the card of going into an in internal journey going uh, into a self-discovery when you kind of choosing to be alone so you discover what is that you want what is that you really really want uh, whether you are uh, thinking about a relationship maybe you've been uh, thinking okay um, what what is that's gonna make me happy in terms of my relationship what is the kind of relationship I want what is uh, this what I what I, do I want from an existing relationship but even if you are here for a money career type of, of advice message this uh, is telling you that okay it is time for you to think through what is uh, uh, the path you want to go uh, and use your wisdom use uh, your your uh, instinct as well to discover what is your true calling because the hermit is somebody who is going on on their own to discover what is that they want what is their life purpose the next card we have here is the 
Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a great card. Uh, definitely an indication of of uh, an ending of a cycle and a beginning of a new one. This is the card uh, that's uh, connected to financial stability first and foremost, and wealth and and achieving your uh, your. Uh, goals when it pertains to money great indication of of uh, having a lot of money being rich and and, uh, and 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 have the ability to afford everything you want uh, something that you worked very hard towards it can be connected to a business as well if you are uh, if you have your own business maybe you are working in a family business uh, uh, type of setup but but even if you're not uh, this is a great indication of financial stability. It can be also about a windfall of money. Maybe you're going to have an idea that's going to help you to uh, get money or it can be also connected to inheritance. But even if you are looking for some kind of a relationship type of advice, this is the card that's telling you that there's some kind of a long-term stability, a long-term relationship ahead of you. You're definitely heading towards that. That's how the hermit is uh, is lighting up for you. Uh, this is uh, the kind of relationship that's stable. This is the kind of relationship when you are uh, creating your own legacy, your own family, uh, your uh, ancestry as well. Um, can be talking about that, you know, uh, when you are meeting somebody and you have uh, similar values, traditional values. It can be also that, you know, you might be dating somebody or meeting somebody who might be wealthier than you. And uh, the last card we have here is the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a, a court card. Uh, it can be your energy or uh, somebody you're dealing with. This is the card uh, that can be an indication of a leader. A mother uh, it can be somebody who knows how to uh, to handle money uh, they uh, create they make a great business decisions and they have all the resources they need and they also take care of the people around them uh, so when if we, you kind of look at it from a money uh, career type of reading I think there's some kind of, some of you are looking for uh, your uh, true calling and and I think your true calling will bring you a lot of financial stability, a lot of value. There's definitely a, a, a yes for you to go ahead, and but make sure that you know your you use your wisdom, and 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 something great is 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 coming to your way. But even if from a relationship perspective, the Queen of Pentacles is a motherly figure somebody who takes care of the home somebody who is loyal somebody who is very loving so even if you are looking for some kind of a long-term relationship these uh, cards are telling me that after uh, being alone you're going to be able to find uh, your happiness you're going to be able to be in a very strong stable loyal relationship what a beautiful energy to claim this is something that you should definitely uh, claim uh, from the universe uh, to come to your life so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again and now we're going to continue with pile number two which uh, where we're going to use the classic rider weight tarot but last we're gonna first we're going to look at your uh, oracle cards let's start with your rose oracle so for you two cards came out one of them is healing is happening you are not broken the trust the process it is safe to soften and you also have the wasteland sustainability slow down tend to your garden so let's talk about um, the wasteland probably that's the what we should talk first because this one is all about like you know you can see how dried out that uh, land is you need to pay attention to yourself you need to slow down and you need to think about how long can you go like this whatever you've been doing uh, uh, is it sustainable uh, and, and make sure that you know you are uh, tending to your garden which is yourself you're beautiful yourself uh, and make sure that you pay attention to whatever you need whatever uh, your desires and that's going to help you to and, and and for this you need to slow down you need to evaluate 
what's happening to you and you also have here the healing is happening you're not broken trust the process it is safe to soften so this is kind of like an indication that you've been going through some difficulties when it comes to uh, your life maybe in the love maybe in, in in from a career perspective and and you know you are not broken uh, you need to trust the process that there's a reason why you kind of went through this and it's it, and it's very important that you are not uh, creating this hard shell of protecting yourself uh, when we're kind of looking at your um, spirit animal oracle card you have here the vulture spirit which is all about nothing is wasted so uh, when you kind of think about it the vultures are, are consuming everything and and this is the card that's telling us that you've been uh, going through some difficult times especially when i kind of look at the other ones and this card is telling us that you might be thinking that oh my god why why did i spend my time with this my, why did i uh, spend so much time in this relationship or work or or whatever it is and um, there's something there's a reason why you had to be there that experience is not wasted you must have learned something from it or, or you're going to be able to see why you have you had to be there and you also have here the beautiful energy of transformation you've been going through some uh, some big big change in your life this is like when uh, the butterfly is going through the cocoon and turning into the beautiful butterfly uh, you're going to be able to see how how this this experience has been contributing to that um, but let's see <clears throat> what is the tarot telling us for you your first card is the queen of swords this can be your energy somebody you're dealing with or the energy of the card the queen of swords is somebody who's been through a lot she is uh, she's been through a lot of difficulties she's been hurt many many times before and and all of that made her stronger uh, and 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 when you kind of look at it it very much resonates with the other cards that you've been through some difficulties and all those difficulties are making you way more stronger and and you know the the queen of uh, swords she is somebody who is very outspoken she is protecting herself because she doesn't want to go through that similar pain what she went through before whether it's career whether it's uh, whether it is uh, um, uh, love uh, or relationship she is somebody who can see things clearly this can be all about clarity some of you might be gaining clarity for uh, through some experience that you've been through and that experience gonna be help you to move forward you also have here uh, the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune which is the card of change also like you know very connected to transformation number 10 indicating that a cycle has ended for you but this is the change for the better change when the universe is uh, working with you to bring you something better one than whatever you had in your life uh, this is the card when you at the right time at the right place to meet the right people whether it's connected to career whether it's connected to love you're gonna be able to uh, see some very positive changes in your life when uh, the wheel of fortune comes out, out luck is on your side sometimes the wheel has to remove something from your life if that's no longer serving you maybe a job maybe a relationship and that's maybe the experience that you've been going through some difficulties because I can see from uh, the other cards that you've been uh, going through some challenges but you're gonna see that's all for the better because the universe is bringing you some lucky uh, luck or lucky times and look at that you also have here the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles again uh, ending a cycle but this is the card of abundance this is the card of wealth and and whenever it comes up uh, if you're here for money you're definitely uh, gonna get some some great uh, financial stability and you have it can be the uh, card when you're getting more money and and with the wheel of fortune practically some of you might be get getting lucky and winning some money uh, obviously I'm not endorsing any kind of gambling or any kind of uh, activity like that but with the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles you might be um, 
and getting some additional money. Some of you might be getting an inheritance, maybe that was a, a difficult road to it, but you might be getting some inheritance. But uh, you know, from a financial perspective, Ten of Pentacles is always the card of wealth and stability. Some of you might be working in a family-owned business, uh, and and or or you might be just getting more money or you might be getting a leadership position that's going to bring you more wealth but even from a relationship perspective ten of pentacles is just simply amazing this is the card of stability loyalty similar values when you're creating your own family when you are creating a long-term stable relationship no matter uh, what is that you're looking for? Yes, you've been through some difficulties, uh, but you know you have to pay attention to yourself. Uh, you have you have to heal. You are heal already healing from that, and all that experience will help you to get to something better, something nicer uh, that's gonna be there for you on the long run. Definitely claim the positive energies of the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. And now we're going to switch to uh, pile number three, uh, which is our last pile uh, for uh, this video. First, we're going to start with your Rose Oracle. The card that came out for us is uh, for you it's the Sacred Waters, Nourishment, Replenishment, Health rest and self-care so this card is telling us that you've been through some difficulties and you need to pay attention to yourself you need to make sure that you nourish your body you, you nourish your soul and you get your energy back this is def uh, definitely con might be connected to health resting and taking care of yourself now we say i don't like to kind of get into health uh, but you know this can be for some of you that you may be recovering from something maybe you went through some uh, health challenges and you are healing from that or you might have gone through some difficult times from a relationship or career perspective that was uh, impacting you significantly and this card is telling us that uh, you are getting better you are uh, you are uh, healing from the process very important that you know you take care of yourself as well so make sure that you pay attention to that and you also have here uh, from the Angel Oracle the Ease and Grace card. So this is the card that's uh, you know telling us that it's very important for you to be very flexible and move like a water and be uh, very uh, connected to the nature and, and meditate and, 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 and follow whatever kind of comes to you that way. Ease and Grace is all about being very fluid uh, very watery. It's so interesting that you know now that I'm seeing that you have the sacred waters and you have the ease and grace which are kind of connected to flow over water. Maybe water is important for some of you or or this is just all about you know being healthy and and, and being well nourished. But you also have here uh, the rhino spirit which is overcome any obstacle. So this is the card that's uh, telling us that you know some of you might have gone through some uh, obstacles in your life some difficulties uh, but it can be also a card that's telling you that you are able to overcome any kind of obstacle that comes to your way when you think about a rhino they can just go into any kind of uh, difficulties that are ahead of them and break through so you have that uh, strength uh, uh, of, of, of the rhino let's see what the tarot is telling us your first card is the five of pentacles the five of pentacles is the card of feeling lack feeling uh being alone feeling ab abandoned and, and and also the card of struggles so it can be definitely connected to some financial struggles if you if you've been if you lost your job or if you've been going through some difficulties um uh, that uh, the five of pentacles can definitely talk to that or if you're looking for a job and you have hard time finding a job um, but don't forget be f fluid be um, like you know go with the flow and you are able to overcome any kind of obstacles whatever comes to your way uh, five of pentacles can be also that some of you are alone some of you have been single or went through a breakup and you have hard time dealing with it maybe you are a single parent who has uh, challenges of finding a relationship but very important with the five of pentacles 
the key that's indicating that there's a solution for you uh, maybe you need to ask for some help uh, somebody who can help you whether it's a work whether it's love related um, but you know five of pentacles can be just the mentality of luck when you are focusing on everything you don't have and 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 with that you're just kind of chasing it away more uh, further and further away from you very important with the five of pentacles that you shift that around you focus on positivity you focus on on uh, being grateful for that forever you have and you're going to be able to attract more of that energy into your life and you also have here the five of swords five of swords is the card of conflict and uh, and uh, very hard competition um, and you can see there are some headaches uh, here uh, with that card this is the card that's indicating that you've been getting going through some very difficult battles five of pentacles is a hardcore conflict a conflict that is uh, um, due to the lack of communication so you need to kind of focus on how can you communicate better whether it's work related whether it's relationship re related you need to make sure that there's better communication because at the five of pen five of swords uh, everybody is in it to win it and they are not listening to each other They're, they don't see uh, what is uh, what the other one want uh, and, and and you know everybody is is kind of even some people are losing some people are winning very hard but but nobody is a true winner when you have a five of swords type of um, conflict and you also have here the ten of swords ten of swords is the card of ending a cycle uh, but this is the painful ending. This is the the painful ending when you know people backstab each other. When 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 there there there's just it's not a nice ending. Uh, this can be end of a relationship. This can be end of uh, uh, a, a a job of some sorts, um, which obviously has been impacting you uh, very significantly. And but don't forget, you're able to overcome this obstacle, whatever you've been through. You need to be easy. Easy and, uh, easy and graceful and flow be like a water uh, to flow and, and and you know give your time to heal and rest and 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 make sure that you are paying attention to yourself so uh, that's all i have for you claim the energy of overcoming any kind of obstacle in your life and don't forget to like share and subscribe